Daniel Brooks Getty Images Daniel Brooks found his form at the perfect time to take the lead on day three of the Andalusia Valderrama Masters hosted by the Sergio Garcia Foundation. The Englishman entered this week knowing he needed to finish eighth or better to have a chance of keeping his playing privileges for next season and went into round three six shots off the lead at level par. He then produced a stunning run at one of Europe's toughest courses, playing the first 16 holes at Real Club Valderrama in 7-under to open up a one-shot lead over Sergio Garcia. Brooks has just one top 10 in 30 events this season, but knows how to get over the line on the European Tour, having won the Madeira Islands Open, Portugal, BPI in 2014. Garcia played his first 10 holes in 1-under to sit a shot ahead of overnight leader Joost Luden and two clear of Welshman Jamie Donaldson and Scotland's Scott Jameson. Garcia started the day one shot behind Luton, but while the Dutchman started with three pars, Garcia put his approach to five feet on the second and then hit a smart tee shot into the par three third. Brooks made birdies on the second, third, fifth and eighth to join the group at four under. Andrew Johnston won here last season at the Real Club Valderrama Open de España, hosted by the Sergio Garcia Foundation and he also moved into that group with birdies on the second and third. Portuguese Ricardo Gouveia is less than 500 points outside the top 10 on the access list and he birdied the second and par 5 fourth to get to 5 under where he was soon joined by Brooks who birdied the ninth to turn in 30. Another birdie on the 10th then moved Brooks within one of the lead. England's Ben Evans needs a top 35 finish to have a chance of keeping his card and he birdied the fourth before giving the shot straight back on the next. Jameson holed a long putt on the fourth but that was not good enough to keep pace with Brooks who tapped in a fourth birdie in a row on the par 5 eleventh to join the lead. Garcia got into bunker trouble on the fifth and made it two bogeys in a row on the next to be replaced in a share of the lead by Luden who birdied the fourth. Govea dropped shots on the fifth and seventh to drop back to where he started the day at three under and Evans soon joined him as he also bogeyed the seventh. Donaldson had birdied the first and bogeyed the seventh but back-to-back -back gains on the ninth and tenth moved him up to four under. Garcia had bogeyed the eighth on days one and two but he played it beautifully on Saturday, hitting a big drive into the greenside bunker and playing a stunning shot from the sand for a birdie. Luton dropped a shot on the seventh and when Brooks put his tee shot on the par three fifteenth to tap in range, the 30-year-old was threatening the course record and led by two. Brooks then dropped the first shot of the day on the 16th with Luton bogeying the 9th and Jameson dropping shots on the 9th and 10th. Wade Ormsby is still not certain of keeping his card for next season, but a 67 boosted those chances as he held the clubhouse lead at 3 under alongside Evans, Govea, Anders Hansen, Pablo Larezabal and Shane Lowry. A double bogey. On the 12th dropped Johnston to 2 under alongside Julian Surrey.